What's up everyone? Welcome back for another episode. So today I'm doing things a little bit differently. I'm pretty much just showing you what I got up to on my days off. We've had pretty crappy weather so I decided to go out and check the two weirs from a safe distance, mind you, from a safe distance. So I just went to check Marion Weir and Dumbleton Weir and they were pretty good and then last night uh, last night my friend alan texted me and asked me if i wanted to go fishing and i said hell yes so we went fishing this morning at 4 30 in the morning and i'm going to show you some clips of that show you some clips from dumpton weir and marion weir throw it all together in a big vlog and that's how we're going to do this episode also <laughs> i've been holding off on some big oh, i'm just sweating here at the moment sorry i've been holding off some of some big trips lately mainly because um i'm getting a little bit worried <laughs> not really but so after my dingo trip uh we we're coming down from the lookout as you would have seen and as we we're coming down it was like 50 meters of dirt road no difficultness at all i lost all power steering i lost uh air con and a battery light came on. I was like, oh no, alternator. That's the first thing I thought, alternator. It's the first thing to go in these cruisers because they're down low. Anyway, turned out, <laughs> worse, blown a pulley bearing, spat the belt, the belt was all mangled, and then, to make matters worse, couldn't get a tow truck, couldn't get a tilt trailer <laughs> at all, and my, my friends didn't have the right car to tow me home, and, and I can't tow an automatic. So that happened. So it, that was like a four hour exercise in the middle of, on the side of the road at Dingo Beach. Came back <laughs> in the same set of days off, was filming some stuff for the bull bar, uh, for that bull bar reveal episode, and both my batteries went dead. Just dead. Crank battery, gone. The jump start battery, gone. That was another expensive exercise. Then the other day, <laughs> this, the list goes on guys, the other day I was uh, I brought my daughter home from dancing and I thought, oh, I was literally fresh off night shift, give me a break. Um, brought her home from dancing and I just thought, oh, there's this back road I can take, cut through all this traffic, just go to the back road, cross the train tracks, home free. Got across the train tracks, bogged, diff down. Like, I was bogged, I couldn't go any further because I was sitting on my diffs and I was just like, God damn it, I was an hour away from starting night shift. <sighs> wow, and I had to get the cane farmer, he was just by chance that he'd come past, seeing me bogged, and pulled me out with his tractor. But, <laughs> that does, he was not very happy at all. And I, I hearts, my heart's to him, mate. He got me out and realized the situation, and he was super cool about it. And from that experience, I will stay away from cane farmers properties from now on unless i've asked unless i've asked so that's what i've been up to in the last couple of weeks so it's been quite hectic and then to add to that again it's just this is full my transmission guard right it's plastic that's just how they come that's just how they are that's what they are for toyota anyway it's broken so i've been a little bit sketchy about hitting a few things although i still do because i don't know why i'm an idiot i just i'm a sucker for punishment really um my transmission guard's broken, so I don't have any transmission guard. There's nothing protecting my transmission. So from that, I am going to make my own transmission guard. That's going to come in another episode. I, I'm working all that out now. It's it's quite an elaborate setup that they've got. Toyota, even the plastic one, I'm trying to simplify it a bit so it's just straight up covers the cha covers the uh, transmission. But anyway, that was quite a long story. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I am going to show you some clips of Marion and Dumbleton Weir, my little exploration of them two, and then my exploration of fishing this morning with my friend Alan. And that's gonna be what you're gonna see right now. Righto, roll on the clips. <laughs>
perfect catch. Love it. Perfect timing. It just started. It's just starting to spit now. So um, there's a little gnarly full drive track here. I can't help myself sometimes. Are you like? Um, Oh, it's, it's literally nothing, but I'm going to set up for it and I'm going to hit it because that's what we're about. <laughs> I might set the camera up top, I might be able to see it a bit better. So let's try this. I think I got that one. <laughs> Little note to self, guys. <laughs> Always press record. I was just like, I don't know if it got it or not, but I was struggling to get through this little bit here. And um, it wasn't even recorded. I'm positive I put it down, but it's got, I think it's got some sort of timer. I'm still working all this stuff out, guys. Um, but I caught most of it on the GoPro. That's my boss setup. It's pretty good, small rig, love it. Um, so let's head to Marion. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get there. Let's come on. Come on. We've got some pretty cool shots, man. I'm pretty happy. Ah, I'm getting out of here. This is um, too loud. Hey, what's up, guys? 4.30 in the morning, way too early, but my friend Alan last night texted me and asked if I wanted to go fishing with him. Now, we're at uh, Dumbleton Weir, so pretty excited because usually he always texts me on the days off and um, shows me pictures of his fish that he's been catching. It's quite annoying. <laughs> so when, I, when he asked me to go fishing, I kind of jumped at the chance. So really hoping that we're going to catch some barrow today that's that's the plan but in the end i'll be happy if i catch anything <laughs> i don't really care um yeah i'm really hoping to try and catch something today that's a, that's the plan behind it but uh also too i'm really excited i just want to try and film the sunrise and lately before we had this little bit of rain we've been getting some gnarly sunrises it's just like a purple sky it's unbelievable so and I've been trying to chase a sunrise or a sunset for a fair while now ever since I got the Mavic Air 2 um, just to capture it because it is absolutely awesome and um, 
that's something I've been chasing for quite a while. So hopefully we get that. I'm just gonna chill out till Alan gets here. Um, that's yeah, it is what it is. And then we're gonna head off, head to the Dumbleton Weir, fish off some rocks. Let's see what happens, guys. <laughs> Better get about my way This is the start of a new day Feel fresher than toothpaste Singing out, this be the new thing New swing set I'ma go for the loop, man I'm a fruit gone loopy That's the Sammy the toucan Screaming out, who cares? My soul bare I'm done with the cold stare My heart hang off the tip of my shoestring Stay untied, that's usual I'm not put together Do better than you do That's magic, I'm voodoo You a doll playing dresser But your getup is poo poo Okay, I'll fess up, I messed up But that's true for you too We stare at our messages Hoping for contact Like somebody Please take us out of this nonsense The world end after every broadcast and to save it seem a tall task with no cape and no cash and a broke car with no brakes and no stakes involved in the state of the world state. It's all lost, so we counting our birthdays. We party hard, get turned on a Thursday. And like we got it all, why we act in the first place? You raised by a screen, that shit Time for a bit of bush no tracking. <laughs> Alan got hit by, by a snake. Oh, by a, hit by a snake. <laughs> by a spider. <laughs> that hits me, yeah. <laughs> oh. It's all them, it's all them crocodiles that uh, wear the track down. <laughs> all them big snakes, all them big anacondas, trouser python. Oh, now you say something. Pretty sure we used to camp down here, eh? Sam flies, I bought some red. Whew. I'm literally trying to walk with camera in one hand and fishing rod in the other. Hoping I drop neither and try and navigate these rocks. Oh. Sweaty Betty. Yep, this is where I'm staying. This is me right here. Shot at your I'm this puppy up. To talk for a man who probably needs his own service. Cause he's scared to death of how everyone think. Probably changed my whole look for his share on the feet. Too focused on the focus on screens. Let's taking pictures and moments where I should actually be. Welcome to the age of distraction, where the follow count king. Where we lacking on queens. Where you follow someone because they follow someone who actually follows their dreams. Damn, I'm bitter as fuck. I should probably change, but I'm so stuck in my ways. Please, soda, sing. This blue is sweet, well I truly see Love like movie scenes, it's a doozy thing Answers on the way, throw it all away Just to feel complete, just for that wonderful run mm. But it's never enough mm. Baby, give me more, give me more, give me more, give me more, give me more I ain't never feel full, not at all, not at all, not at all, not at all. Ooh, where's that wonderful run? I can't get enough. Baby, give me more, give me more, give me more, give me more, give me more. I ain't never feel full, not at all, not at all, not at all, not at all. Give me more, give me more, give me more, give me more, give me more. I ain't never feel full, not at all, not at all, not at all, not at all. Was that wonderful run? Someone say my bad behavior, out to X name me, thoughts and cut dangerous. I can't change, I'm locked in my head. Well, this is gonna be interesting because we got the, the track on the way out, a little bit gnarly at the top, right at the top. I've got three wheels coming down in the darkness. So, see what happens. <laughs> You're definitely going first. <laughs> okay, I'll race you to the top. <laughs> that ain't happening. Oh, 
sketchy. Aye, Gotta love it, eh? Aye. Lots of track doesn't even exist, but it's there. I wanna tell you something new. You drove us both into a wall. I drive away into the night, and I contemplate for a while. Well, not much luck on the fishing. Alan tried to show me some secret spots. <laughs> Everyone knows them. But um, yeah, not much luck, but that's the game of fishing, I guess, eh? Yeah, that's right. You win some, you lose some. But I had a bit of fun on this, um, this gnarly little entry. As you see, there's a few tire marks. Massive rut. I don't know if you can see it. It'll get there. It'll figure itself out. Oh, yeah. That's it! <laughs> oh well. Look at that, let's go. Gonna try. Bit dirty. Let's not talk about my car, so we've got a tree on there. Ugh. But yeah, going down going down the hill here to try and um, catch this little gnarly exit. I got bogged! <laughs> Again! Panic, then I just powered out. It oh, was pretty fun. You get that? Anyway guys, that's the episode. Hope you enjoyed that one. It's definitely something different for me. It's uh, it was a lot easier making that sort of content and um, I'm definitely planning a lot of bigger trips and like I've, I've planned a lot of trips. <laughs> it's a matter of getting out there and doing them and making sure my car is in A1 condition to hit these tracks and hit these places that I want to hit. Um, obviously always I'm just trying to start small think big that's the way I'm hitting this hitting this um, channel that's the way I'm gonna do it I'm gonna start local hit all the local places and then keep going for further north and south that's that's the way and soon this car will be big enough and good enough to tackle every track in Australia because that's what I want cheers guys